Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing great. Uh, first of all, apologies uh, for uploading this video late. I know Coke Studio Bangla has already dropped their song, but I was traveling. It was after a very long time. I actually had a longish trip and I stepped out of the house. So I went to Delhi and I visited the book fair and a few other literary events and it was a lot of fun. And while I was on this trip, I was encouraged by a lot of people to promote my own books as well. So before we start the video, I just want to mention that I have authored like seven books. All of them are pretty much available on Amazon. And the latest one is called The Part I Lived With You. So and this is the one that I'm most proud of. So I would encourage you uh, to go ahead, check it out and see how you like it. Uh, I was told that if I don't promote my books, then who would? Anyway, so uh, so that's why this little thing here. So uh, without any further delay, let's just listen to this song and let us see uh, what we have in store for this time. So it's called Bono BB and it was released four days back. And it's Meghdol with Jahura Ball, if I'm pronouncing their names right. So the, the video already has 3.7 million views, which is a good, impressive figure. And let's just see what we have here. Uh, let's quickly have this write up. So Bono Baby is a manifestation of the protective, healing and nurturing traits of Mother Nature. In Bangladeshi folklore, she has protected forest dwellers from the paws of Dakshin Rai, who used to shape shift as tiger. This sounds interesting. I would like to explore the folklore more. Even today we witness how nature has nurtured the lives of this beautiful delta we call home beyond the chaos of urban life. Okay, so let's quickly check out this song. I have a feeling there was this one uh, image that I saw in, in the teaser for Coke Studio Bangla season 2 in which there was a female uh, with a headgear and all. I have a feeling they are referring to that. Let us see. I'm hoping it's the same text that I just read. Okay. So, uh, in the last season, we very clearly saw there were a lot of references to nature. And this time, it was evident in the teaser as well. And as the song has just started, I can very clearly make they are reproducing a lot of natural sounds, a lot of, uh, you know, actual real sounds of birds and this and that, which they are uh, playing. So, that's something really interesting. And I think uh, Bono BB is... Uh, the one that I was talking about earlier. I, I love that flower that she is uh, wearing in her hair. Ah, that's that's what I was talking about. Oh God, look at that.
It's really beautiful. Okay, so they're talking about. Ah, uh, uh, I need to take a pause. Uh, they're talking about the um, the folk tales that uh, they mentioned in that text. I love the sounds that they produced with that. Uh, we call chaj. Uh, what we use to you know uh, select and uh, filter the grains and and that whole thing. Uh, those sounds are really intoxicating, and I love the melody that's uh, developing. You know, uh, uh, we've been uh, we had we had Coke Studio Bharat, which I didn't find very uh, impressive uh, because of so many reasons. Uh, just comparing it with what's happening here, you know, uh, this is an attempt to create music. This is not an attempt to create a song which uh, can get like played over and over again, and it can be used in the clubs and the discos and all of that to dance and to party. there's no adulteration in this the it's simple idea simple concept which they have picked up uh, mother nature and uh, you know uh, the the assembly of all the folk tales and everything that talk about all of that and they just very softly presenting that um, and it's kind of magical it definitely is kind of magical but uh, Uh, I think for anyone who wants to uh, create good music, uh, <laughs> Cook Studio Pakistan, Cook Studio Bangla, uh, are their uh, case studies to understand what what works and you know uh, how one should invest one's time and energy uh, to create good music. That's that's that. This is stunning. You know uh uh oh, let's let's listen to this first Wow so what i'm noticing right now is you know there's no mess everything is laid out so clearly you can actually listen to it and you can appreciate and enjoy the piano comes and you can listen to the piano you can appreciate that that, that electric guitar piece was so beautiful it it really takes your attention it really grabs your attention and takes you somewhere you know and then this iktara and everything is laid out so it's given the importance which it deserves and it's treated with all the beauty that you know it actually presents in turn um but sadly this is not what we get in the music of today it's all clutter clatter and sab kuch hi dal diya and you know uh, neat things look good sound good and i think that, that that's that's what's happening here as well <laughs> imagine using using these as musical instruments wow
and it's time to sleep again. That's one beautiful song, guys. So, uh, I'm not an expert, but it very distinctly did seem that, you know, there was no use of auto-tune or uh, any of those gimmicks. The singers were experienced enough and the singers knew how to sing and they were presenting their uh, skills. Uh, th that was really nice to see. And, um, okay, I'm a bit upset with uh, the last song that Coke Studio Bharat, uh, you know, had... Uh, that girl who was singing, uh, she is a phenomenal singer. I have heard her other songs. And they opened the song. They opened her vocals using <laughs> terrible auto-tune thing. You know, I, I, it's beyond me to understand why they would do that. Um, one really needs to be... <sighs> Forget it. Okay, let, coming back to this beautiful song. It's so refreshing. And... Uh, so relaxing, uh, you know, it, it holds true to the idea of nature and the healing uh, abilities of nature, which they kind of mentioned in that text, it, it actually has that effect on you. Uh, the whole set was, you know, uh, filled with those soothing natural colors. And it was also beautifully done. I need to see this once again, because I was so I was really enjoying the melody and the tune and all the experimentation that they did with the sounds. So, uh, you know, the, the set kind of didn't grab me the way the sets generally do, which goes uh, for, you know, how uh, beautiful and how great this song is. And um, anyway, guys, uh, com completely loved it, absolutely loved it. And uh, how did you guys like it? Uh, it's a slower song as compared to, uh, you know, the earlier one. I see Murir Tin is <laughs> doing wonders there in Bangladesh. Uh, there have been, you know, a lot of uh, concerts and this and that. And people are really enjoying and grooving to that song. That's so good to see. Uh, this has a very different tonality, but uh, so enjoyable. Anyway, guys, so I think I'm going to end this today. And uh, do let me know how you guys like this song. And uh, until next time, guys, keep listening, keep reading, keep watching. Cheers. Also, guys. If you have come all the way and if you're still watching this, I would be really grateful if you would check out my books. I have authored seven books. All of them are light fun reads and all of them are available on Amazon. I will share the link to the books in the description below. My latest book is called The Part I Left With You. And that's a book which I'm kind of proud of and I would really like to have your thoughts on this. If any one of you picks it up, do let me know how you liked it. The link will be there in the description below. And that's it for today, guys. And until next time, keep listening, keep reading, keep watching. Cheers.